Hi, welcome to BlueFX.net, and thank you for buying the last Lower Thirds package. Now I will show you how to use the Lower Thirds in Adobe Premiere. First of all, let's open the delivery package. Now I'll open the business folder. As you can see, there are 20 different folders. Each one of them contains a different Lower Thirds design. I'll open the business one folder. Inside this one, you'll find another three folders. Each one of these corresponds to a different color setting. I'll use Business Color 1. Each lower third has three main parts, the intro, the loop, and the out. All of these are QuickTime files with an alpha channel. So to use them, you have to import these files into your Adobe Premiere project. Now let's open Adobe Premiere. Okay, here we are. As you can see, I've already imported the three QuickTime files. The BlueFX logo is a PNG with the alpha, and some video footage from our People's Footage package. To create the lower thirds, I'll create the first new sequence, and I'll put all these elements inside the new sequence. To do that, go to the File menu and choose New Sequence. Name it Lower Third. Now let's add the intro part of our lower third. And in the same track, I'll drag the loop and the out footage. Done. Now let's add some text in the logo. To do that, go to the File menu and choose New Title. Use this panel to create the header text for your lower third. Type your text and adjust the position and scale. Now just type the new text for the comment and adjust the position and the scale as well. Just close this panel and you'll see you have a new title object in the Premiere library. Just drag it above the lower third loop and adjust the time to fade in and fade out this title. Select the track from the effects panel and open the video transition folder. Open the dissolve subfolder and choose cross dissolve. Drag this transition over the in and out point of the title track. Now let's add the logo to the lower third. To do that, select the logo from the library and drag it above the title track. Now from this effects control panel, open the motion parameters and adjust the size and position. Let me show you. Drag this transition over the in and out point. As you can see, there's only one loop in this track, so you'll want to extend the duration of this lower third. Just repeat the loop as many times as you want. Let me show you. Now let's adjust the duration of the other layers. Once you finish your lower third sequence, go back to the main sequence. Now drag your video footage to this timeline. And drag the lower third sequence above the video footage.
This way you can use lower third footage in Adobe Premiere. If you have any questions about this package, please don't hesitate to contact our support team at bluefx.net. Have a good day.